thank you so much for coming back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you a hairstyle that I do quite often. It's actually become one of my favorites. And if you've followed my blog or my Instagram for any length of time, you'll hear me talk about hair silhouettes a lot. And I'm a huge fan of figuring out what kind of silhouette works best for you. And then you can play around with different hairstyles and different techniques that kind of fall into that silhouette. So this is one that I find works best for my face. Um, as I mentioned in my other tutorial, I have a very round, very pudgy face. So anything that's gonna kind of take the hair off of my face um, is, is works best for me. I feel like it looks better for me. This is a considered a half up, half down. Uh, so this, this top part's gonna be up and it almost kind of squares off. That's the silhouette that I'm looking for. So because I have a rounder face, I'm kind of squaring things off to, I guess, elongate my face, make it a little bit less pudgy and, and round. Um, so that's, that's what I find works for me. Okay, so you're going to need a few items and um, starting off with the brush. I've used this Denman brush for many years. I love it, it works best on my hair. Uh, it is the most amazing for brush outs. And a rat tail comb. And then I'm also going to be using this tease brush, although I don't use it for teasing. Um, I use it to smooth out the hair and I'll show you that. And you'll need a couple of duckbill clips, some bobby pins, and I am using the uh, Scented Orange Flower Hair Pomade from Little Bits on Etsy, and this is absolutely amazing. And then of course my Kenra number 13 Perfect Medium Hairspray. This is an amazing hairspray. It uh, does not leave any kind of residue in your hair. I only wash my hair once a week, so having products that don't leave a lot of buildup and uh, create some issues throughout the week is fantastic and this is a wonderful hairspray for that. So I think I've got everything. So what we're going to do is section off the hair a little bit because um, this is a half up half down so we want to take from the crown back to behind the ear. You can see that section there. And I'm just going to twist this up and clip it out of the way for now. And we want to get that same section on the other side. So just behind the ear. And then you can just put the rest of the hair back in a quick ponytail just to get it out of the way. Okay, so we're gonna work on this small side first. So in order to create the silhouette that I want, I do need a little bit of height in here. So with my rat tail comb, I'm just going to do, it's kind of these C, um, waves, I guess. You just take the hair and I'm just doing the roots. I don't want it all the way to the end. Take a little bit of pomade, gently over, and this is where I take my teaser brush and on the flat end I just gently go over that so it flattens out all those lovely flyaways. And we'll do a better, do, better deal of this once we get the hairspray and everything is set where you want it to. 
So, so on this side, I'm just doing a roll. So I'm going flat like a ribbon, just making it a flat ribbon all the way around. I take my thumb, four finger, pinch it together, and voila, you have yourself a roll. So this is the beginning of um, what you would do for a victory roll. And the great thing about this is that it does not have to be perfect because most of it is going to get covered up anyway. So I like to clip this on the inside. So I'm taking a section here and then I'm taking it all the way through to the end. Again, it does not have to be pretty because you're really just wanting, you're creating this look right here. The rest of it is going to be covered. So don't worry about too much if it looks messy, which it totally does right now. So I'm taking another bobby pin and I'm anchoring in the back. So that's completely secure. Okay, so that's that silhouette that I want right there. So on this side, same kind of thing. I want a little bit of height on this bottom part. If you have thinner hair, if you don't have as much hair, uh, you might wanna tease all the way up, but I have a lot. Um, but because this is a smaller section down here, I wanna get some height on there. A little bit of pomade. And you're not brushing all the way through the hair. You're just gently combing that front layer and back layer to smooth out those flyaways. Now here is where you do want to brush out. So make sure you're holding the section above where you've teased. Make sure it's all nice and brushed out. Take the hair and you're doing a twist. And then, oops, let's do that again. Twist and then you're pushing forward to create this height here. And if you notice, I have these ridges. Now that's from my set. That's from that wave set that I did. And I really want to utilize, um, kind of have that, those ridges there. I really like the way they look. So right where we twisted, I'm taking two large bobby pins because my hair is very thick and I wanna make sure that I am getting as much of that hair as possible. And I do, mm -hmm a crisscross pattern across there, okay? So that's pretty secure. And then we have this lovely poof. Now, this is where the hairstyle is going to change just about every day that you do it. It really depends on what is going on with this, this guy here. Um, you can just kind of take it like this Put a few bobby pins in and you've got it done um, and that's probably what I'm going to end up doing with this just because it's already kind of sitting really nicely. The other thing you can do is you can separate them and just do two really nice rolls kind of either against each other or towards each other whatever works best for you 
um, but I'm kind of liking what's uh, what's going on here. So I'm gonna just gently brush things together. made in my hands. So I'm going to secure it right here. You don't want too many of these just kind of hanging out that way because um, over the day they'll start to fall and it, it'll actually start to pull on the style and start to pull it out. So if you have a nice section there, you can just anchor it with a bobby pin so it still gives that look without it um, kind of just hanging out there. So. And you can take the end of your rat tail comb. If you need to get in there and kind of pump anything up, you can do that. And so you see how we've created this kind of rounded off square silhouette. Um, again, to me, I feel like that just frames my face so much better. Gonna go ahead and spray that a little bit. Now, depending on how the back of my hair is uh, is faring for the week, I can either brush it out. I can just pull it back into a clip and wear it just like that. You can also do a Gibson roll with this. I've done that many times. Um, I think my curls are still doing pretty good. So I'm gonna just brush them out and wear it down. So this is that half up, half down hairstyle. And this style actually works really well if you want to do a hairnet. Oh, you could also use a snood for this. Okay. So my hair is actually not coming together as well as I would like it to. So I'm going to put it back in a Barrette. Okay, so I actually have this really cute uh, leopard print barrette. So that's what I'm going to do for my hair. I'm going to turn around, just brush it all down, and I want to clip it towards the nape of my neck. Okay, so 
so we've got it all done. And again, there's so many variations you can do with this. Uh, with the top part, you can wear it in a snood. You can put a hairnet if, you, if your curls are really fantastic and you wanna preserve them. This actually works really well for a hairnet because your hairnet can just go along that ridge that you created with your part um, and just do the, the back of it. You don't have to do the hairnet up top. You can if you want to, but um, to me that's, it looks a little weird when it's all encompassed like that. You can put a barrette in, you can leave it straight down, you can do, um, a braid if you want. There's so many variations that you can do with this hairstyle. So I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope it was easy for you to understand. If you have questions, please do let me know in the comments below and um, let me know what other kind of hairstyles you'd like to see tutorials on. And um, I appreciate you coming to my channel. I really do. This is again something very new to me and I'm enjoying it, so I hope you are too. I appreciate it. Take care. Thanks.